Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here, and today we're gonna teach you how to turn Copy Party into a service that you can start, stop, enable, and run in the background. Uh, this is assuming, of course, that you already used my Copy Party uh, previous video. You've got a working Copy Party and uh, Copy Party config already done as per my original video. Let's go ahead and get this thing turned into a service. So I've got a helper pack as usual called CP Helper. Get it from archive.org. We're gonna download the zip, make sure it's in downloads and the zip extension is preserved. Little tiny guy this time, easy peasy. We'll go in here, let's split our windows and we'll have our home folder on the right and on the left we'll have our downloads. Right click and we'll extract and delete. That gives us a CP Helper folder Inside of here is a service and a helper text. Now, I would not recommend doing anything with any service files unless you open it up and take a look and know what it's doing. So we like to teach and do on this channel. So let's take a look here. Essentially, this description says it's the copy party server. When it executes, it runs Python 3, your copy party running out of the home deck folder with the dash C and it's calling the config that's the working directory. It uses the journal for uh, error reporting, uh, restart if it fails. And uh, honestly, I'm not exactly sure what that is. So we'll just assume that that's okay. So this is what you need to uh, create a service. Now this is gonna go in .config, and it has to go here, by the way, system D and user. And you can see I've already copied it over here, but we'll do it again just for the fun of it. Copy, I'll have to overwrite. Okay, so now I've got the service in the folder. All right, so we've got a service now. It's defined, but it's not actually running. To help us out, I've got this helper text. Go ahead and open that up with Kate or whatever file um, editor that you prefer. And so I've got several things here for you to use. You can cut and paste, make this easy. So we have here commands that will enable the service. So the next time you boot, it will automatically start. I have a disable service that will disable it, but not stop it. So if it's running and you say disable, it'll continue to run until you stop it or reboot. Manually start the service and manually stop the service. Now, if you used my SSHFS videos in the past, this should look very similar to starting and stopping SSH. So what we'll do is we're going to assume that you want to run it all the time. So as long as your deck is on, you can reach it. So that's the enable disable part. So let's copy out the enable. Now, if you don't have a shortcut to console, you can find it off of all applications under K. Uh, run the console, hit this paste button, don't hit control V, and then hit enter. All right, so it has now enabled the service, but it's not running yet. And if I go over to that page, the 3923, you can see it's not running. So until we actually physically start it or reboot, it's not gonna run. So let's go to start service. We'll copy that, paste that into our console window. Okay, now the service is running. And of course, if I go back, there it is. So now I can go to my PC, my phone, wherever it is that I wanna access Steam Deck. Now, this is going to run constantly all the time because it's enabled as a service and it's gonna start every time the deck starts or you reboot. But you can, of course, go through here and disable it if you would like, copy that and paste it in. Or you could just stop it for now, right? So you could leave it as an enabled service, but when you're done, go ahead and stop it knowing that the next time you reboot, it will start again. So you have some options here, but now you can be pretty much guaranteed that as long as your deck is on, Copy Party will be quietly uh, running in the background, waiting for you to access it with your browser, your phone, whatever. So there you have it. Pretty simple today, but I know a couple of people asked for this. And uh, yeah, now you don't have to go and run weird Python commands or anything like that. It just runs nice, clean, neat, and easy. Hope this helped you out. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armandro. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.